What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you being here. So guys, has this happened to you? You bought a high capacity flash drive and you suspect that it is not the capacity that you thought it was. And did you buy that from a cheap website? I will explain this a little bit more and show you how to check your flash drive to see if they are legit. But first, a word from my sponsor. This video is sponsored by Boosteroid, a cloud gaming platform that provides access to hundreds of high-end games. You can now play your favorite titles at 60 FPS, full 1080p on your desktop, laptop, tablet, Android TV, or even on your phone. Check out the links in the description below for more and to get signed up today. Okay guys, so what I mean by a cheap website, there's a lot of websites out there like Timu, Wish.com. Certainly nothing toward them specifically, but there are a lot of fakes being sold on sites like that. Now, if you take a look at this article, link in the description below if you want to take a look at this yourself. But it basically explains how some people are buying these high-end or high-capacity flash drives um, on these different sites. And they're getting them, and they are basically not the capacity that they paid for. So, let's take a look at some of these. So let's start with like wish.com and even before I go up here and do a search, I'm just going to search USB flash drive. You can already see right here advertising 64 gigs for $1.37. I mean, let's scroll down and see if there's more. Uh, 128 gigs for $1.75. I mean, come on. There's, there's really no way there was some more flash drives there. Uh, six. I believe that's 64 and 32 bit. There are 32 gigs starting at dollar 86. I mean, those prices are fantastic. Um, and again, I'm not saying these sales or these ads right here are fake, but it's just, it seems impossible. Let's go a little bit further. Let's just search USB flash drive here. And yeah, we get even more coming up. 512 for 248. 512 for $1.44, 64 for $1.25. I mean, this goes on and on. Look at this right here, three piece. I mean, you get three two terabyte drives for $6.13. I really don't think that's accurate. Just my opinion, um, but it does not seem right. Uh, same thing, I've got eBay on a tab up here. I've searched one terabyte flash drive. Look what we're coming across here, two one terabyte flash drives starting at 353 free shipping it just doesn't seem right all right guys so with that being said and if you think that you purchased a flash drive that doesn't seem like the capacity that you paid for check this website out it is valid drive and it's going to be at the grc.com slash valid drive htm link is in the description below but this is a piece of software that will actually go through and check your flash drive to tell you if it is fake or not. And it's a really cool piece of software. Um, let's uh, get this downloaded. So if you don't have this downloaded, I know there's nothing saying it, but you got to click the little first box here, this first image, and it will prompt you for download. So go ahead and get that downloaded. I've already got it downloaded, so let's minimize and look this up here so i'm going to run it now don't plug in your flash drive until um you run this software and right after you do the next step here so once you open it up it'll tell you what valid drive is um, and how it works why it was created if you notice here um, it talks about the fraudulent substandard quality usb drives um, and you go down and there's a little bit more information. I'll let you guys read through that. Um, but it's a very good product here. So once you're ready to scan your drive, you simply click check USB drive. And at this point, it's going to prompt you to enter your USB drive. So I'm going to do that real quick. Okay, that is plugged in. It, it uh, obtains the device information. Um, it reads the the memory or the chip on the drive to see what it says its declared size is. 
So this is a 32 gig drive. That's pretty close. That's how Windows reads things. Tell you the drive letter. And then once you're ready to validate it, you're just gonna click validate this drive. Now initially it'll go through a little calibration thing for a few seconds. And it's pretty quick depending on the size of your drive. Uh, but it will go through and read and write. And that right there is what you want to see, guys. You want to see validated across the board. You don't want to see, um, in fact, let me pull the website back up. You don't want to see something like this here, where there's a little bit that has been validated and the rest is in the red, meaning no storage. This right here would simply tell me that, you know, for instance, this was claimed to be a two terabyte drive and it only validated like 32 gig of that. So you definitely don't want to see the red here. You really don't want to see any read or write errors either, but the red is what's going to show you if the rest is unusable storage. Um, so once you get that ran, um, you can just click close here and it will actually give you a report here. It'll show you the whole graph. It will give you read and write performance details and stuff like that. So that's, that's kind of nice that it does that. Um, it will even tell you the brand and the model, the type of um, drive that's in there and date and time and all that fun stuff. So anyway, guys, great way to validate if what you have bought is legit. And if not, you send those things back because uh, that's just not worth it. It's, it's, it's more worth it to spend a few bucks more to get a brand name from a good seller that you know and trust. I would stay away from all these cheapo websites. I know it's tempting, uh, but spend a few bucks more and you won't go through the hassle. Anyway, guys, if this is helpful to you and you think that this can come in handy for you, click that like button for me. And if you would consider subscribing too, I would appreciate it. Thanks and have a good day.